Hi Sagittarius, good morning. I opened the window so you could hear the birds. <laughs> I hope all is well. I slept in a little bit. Not gonna lie. So gang gang Sagittarius and this is what you need to know today. These things may be happening today. They may be things that have been going on. Um, it just really is always something that you're needing to know today. You know, you have to decide why. Remember always that you have free will at all times. This is never about what you need to do. Okay. Sagittarius, let's get into it. If you're looking for personals, that link is in the description. Please like and subscribe. Okay, okay. Sagittarius, I, you know, the energy you're being led by is your heart, actually. And that could be because your heart is opening. Um, it feels as if you may be feeling this Virgo energy and definitely Chiron. Like, <laughs> like for real, for real. Because here we got Virgo, the Earth, and Capricorn, which is interesting. And Uranus. I don't know. It's like, um, you could be, these are energies that are coming up this week. I mean, Capricorn, uh, we dealt with the Capricorn full moon. Um, it feels too like you, um, because Uranus is, I really feel, even though we're not led by Uranus energy, um, that's very, shakes us up to something different, which, you know, it just feels like you might be viewing something different from the heart space, particularly when it comes to responsibility. Like maybe, you know, maybe someone acted irresponsibly and you're forgiving them for that. Um, or even forgiving yourself, to be honest. And it feels like, it does feel like there is some forgiveness here. Um, but since this card particularly is talking about self-compassion, it, it could be like you, you know. It could be you forgiving yourself for some things that you did that, you know weren't in perfect authenticity with yourself <coughs> specifically in your unconventionality which is very Sagittarius like um you know that can look like being out of character right <laughs> I think but you may also I, I I do feel like there's something happening with your heart in your heart space because you could be really releasing some some ways of thinking uh, about relationships maybe you've been uh, you know against relationships because of the things that have happened to you maybe you've been against love against connecting you know there's something about that that seems to be changing and that may come from a space of forgiving yourself for things that have happened in the past. Like, even when people do stuff to us, because I know I'll see those comments, on some level, we have to forgive ourselves, too. Like, we have to forgive ourselves for putting up with it, you know, or for holding on to it. But it may have actually created something negatively in the heart space, you know, maybe. It does sometimes, too. You know, no matter what we say, like, you know, it, it can get us to thinking that everyone's the same or everyone's going to act this way or, you know, I don't know. You're, you're embracing something a little bit differently and I mean, realizing how strong you are for sure. And I actually feel as if there is a warrior approaching you, like someone who sees your strength. Because there is something new coming in, Taj. A new relationship. Which, it says kindred spirit, right? Someone who thinks like you. Um, but it can also be 
you know, it could be someone who's had hard experiences too. And, and, you know, like if you want this relationship, it's telling you that you're going to have to let go of some, you know, outdated ways of thinking, you know, particularly if you've been in a negative space when it comes to relationships, you know. And so, yeah, okay. Well, so, uh, you're fo you've been focused on money, though, I see. You know, focused on money, and I feel like something about that may be changing, because calm is here with abundance. You know, maybe you're starting to see that working harder isn't necessarily working smarter. <laughs> you're adapting to, to, you know, maybe there's been kind of a lull in your manifesting or, you know, I know for me, summertime is really slow and it can feel a little defeating. And, you know, that's people in retail, people working online, we feel that, you know, especially July. July can be a, a rough month and you know, I just kind of feel like you're going with the flow on it. You're adapting to what's going on. You know, not not really taking it, like, so hard that maybe the abundance isn't there the way you want it to be. You're adapting to that. And maybe, you know, maybe that kind of looks like you're able, you know, seeing it like if you're not as busy or money isn't coming in, maybe it's like, Staying home and finding things that don't cost money, you know, or being okay with having extra time, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I did pull self self care cards, um, and it's very interesting because I don't pull these all the time. Uh, but there's something about practicing your individuality like and letting it be seen so that can really look like you know sharing the different ways that you think like we always say that Sagittarius is different and a lot of times we don't show out on that you know what I mean and they're telling you start doing that start letting people see what is different and special about you oh amen amen we are the stars, right? We are the stars. Uh, so, it's really interesting because as far as whatever this relationship is coming in, um, I feel like this is someone who really accepts you. Like, You may be, like, thinking about whether or not to pursue it, whether or not to even go forward with it, and really trying to figure that out intuitively, right? Is this a good choice for you? Um, the answer kind of is talking about that. You know what I mean? Talking about that, speaking your truth. I actually feel like this person very much kind of whoever this is for you they like that part of you you know and and that you know you're going to feel very accepted by this person for your truth you know so mm -mm. I love this so okay what kind of day is it I feel like it's the kind of day where you just step back and let let things happen because we have the page of swords and the Four of Swords. I don't feel like you're... Uh, it feels maybe like you're not in much of a mood to talk. More of in a mood to observe. See what other people do. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's surprising to you is... I don't know. It just feels like something you've waited for is coming. Particularly in the area of resources. Right? So you may be, but it's a, it's a double edged sword here for me. It's like you, you're finding the resources that you need to move forward with something that has been maybe on hold with the three of wands. And 
I always think with the three of wands, the reason for the delay is because there are details to work out. And these details may have been resources. But there's also a loss here. Okay, with the Ten of Swords. So, it kind of has that feel. Um, it could be, the loss could be that you have to walk away from something. Because we're seeing that twice. There could be something that has to end in order for you to, like, get these resources. Um, so, you know, it's never just one way. It's like, it's like two things. So, so that's hard, right? There's something hard about it or, or that isn't easy, but it's kind of necessary for where you want to go. And we're still seeing, like, a, a difficult decision, uh, in which you could do one of two things, right? You could do this or you could do that. Um, and so you might be like connecting with friends, people who really know you. That's the Three of Cups, people who really value you. Um, and I feel like what they're telling you is like, what is the most, what is the most important thing to you right now? Like, is it moving forward with where you're trying to go? Or is it, you know, not having to have an ending of some sort? I, I, I feel like there's that. But I also feel, you know, and, and they're really helping you to figure out what you want to make the best possible decision. All right. But the other end of it too, Saj, is that I do feel like there is... There are things going on with figuring out who who has got you, you know? And that might be, you may be walking away from some connections or some friends. Uh, you know, it could be that this Three of Cups energy is people who you thought were a certain way or just... Kind of showing a different face to you. You know, but we'll take a look. What's this Three of Cups energy? Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Oh, this is about something you want to do. Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is about a decision that you want to make that you and uh, it's an opportunity for sure but with the four of swords and the knight of wands reverse it's like you don't want to make a snap decision for sure you definitely don't want to make the wrong decision so what about loyal people here what about these three of cups people because i feel like that's a thing three of cups Interesting. Yeah, as far as the people part of it, I feel like um, that you just don't, there are people here that you just don't feel as connected to, to as you used to. Hmm. Interesting. And then we, you know, we have the challenge being the Eight of Cups and the Strength card. Like something you're having to walk away from that's obvious is not, maybe it's not as easy as you thought. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. The Sun. Okay. Eight of Cups. Yeah, 
well, definitely. Like, it feels as if something, like, you thought you were going to reconcile. In other words, you thought you were going to be able to um, bring a relationship back together. And it's accepting that you're not. It's accepting that you're not. Oh, that's interesting. It could be here, too, that you're choosing, like, this future, this abundant future. Definitely, maybe even a job. It over something else. So, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Lunar Eclipse. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, this is about you choosing a new path. be that you waited for something to work out and it just didn't so you're moving on from that and choosing something else for yourself interesting okay so what's the mystery cards hmm The mystery cards for Sagittarius. So there are rewards coming, right? Um, if you step out of your comfort zone. Um, which is funny because I don't know if stepping out of your comfort zone is stop spending money. You know, but you're being asked to stop spending money right now. Because um, something connected to the heart is going to progress very soon. Maybe you're going to need money for that. Maybe that's what this is talking about. But we will look more at that. <laughs> it's so crazy. So many things. So many things, Sagittarius. As always, we're going to get your advice from Spirit. And what I was just hearing is, be careful who you ask for advice from. I don't know why, Sag. I don't know why. Because often I don't know why. Why do these messages come through like that? But what is your advice? What is Sagittarius' advice? What is Sagittarius' advice? feels like the same like thing I was just saying. Ugh. I mean, what you may not be seeing <laughs> is that someone may be looking to slow you down in some way. And it may be the reason that they're saying something they're saying. Well, wow, okay. All right, hopefully that makes sense to you, Sag. So let's get you a mindful message. What is Sagittarius's mindful message? <clears throat> Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius's mindful message? Sagittarius. 
Sagittarius is mindful message. Okay. My own energy. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in the hole with them. Amen, amen. Rather than reacting and projecting my emotions onto others, I remember no one is to blame. No one is responsible for the emotions that I feel. When someone says or does something that brings up strong emotions within me, I have the choice in how I respond. Okay. Okay, Sagittarius. So, in the extended, um, I will be looking at this Three of Wands energy in terms of where you're going and the mystery cards in this new person. So, that you're connecting with because I feel like that could be anyone. It could be a friend. It could be something more. But you're connecting with a kindred spirit. I love that. So that's what I have for you, Sag. Toodles.